Hi folks. Wanted to tell you is about these uh, coil packs for the Saturn views and you'll end up getting misfires and I want to explain to you why. And the chances are pretty good that your coil packs are actually still good. Well where these coil packs go and mount themselves is in basically the middle of the valve cover. And down in the pockets where the boots go usually most of the time fills up with oil. And usually most of the time that when a coil pack is going to start misfiring you're going to find that those chambers where these where the spark plugs are are filled up with oil. And what ends up happening is that your rubber boots they swell up. You see this one here is all swelled up. It's a lot bigger than it should be. So it no longer no longer, let me see if I can find a, there we go, a spark plug. It no longer fits the spark plug tight. It's very loose. And what ends up happening is that it misfires because um, it basically shorten out against the side of the head. Because now the spark can escape outside the boot. So most of the time, now I'm not saying all the time, but most of the time, the coil pack itself is okay. It's usually just the boot that goes bad because it swells up because it's been sitting in oil for so long. So to solve the problem, you don't necessarily need to buy coil packs. You only need to replace the boots and of course drain the oil. Now, unfortunately, it's a pretty difficult job to continuously check it to see if those chambers are filled up with oil or not but I would definitely recommend every now and then you know going through the process of pulling off the plenum and whatnot and um, checking them chambers and making sure that those chambers down where the spark plug is remain dry but if you don't what's going to end up happening is it's going to seem like you're always having misfires and it's going to seem like the coil packs are always continuously going bad but that's not the case. The case is, I'm not saying all the time, but most of the time is just because these boots are submerged in oil and they're not supposed to be submerged in oil. That's why they swell up. And once they swell up, they're just no longer any good. They're not really um, clamping down or hugging the spark plug like they're supposed to be. You know, let me get this spark plug again. You see in that, in that boot there's a spring and then the top of the spark plug sits on top of this spring like this. And that's what's allowing the current to travel through. It's going through the coil pack, through the spring, and then onto your spark plug, and then you're getting your spark. And then what's happening is when that's happening, see all the slop that's in here? Well, that spark is escaping through this crack because the boot itself is swelled up. And it's escaping and it's shorting out every now and then. That's why some of these people with Saturn views, you may notice that you don't always have a misfire. It seems like it's um, kind of comes and goes. And that's the reason is because that sparks, it's, it's kind of leaking outside the boot here because the boot's swelled up and it's not supposed to be swelled up. It's supposed to be nice and tight. And the whole boot will actually swell up on top. The whole boot actually swells up. Even up top here, it'll swell up. And they're supposed to be nice and tight on the top and where the spark plug goes into. If they're not, you're gonna end up with a, a misfire. And that's more than likely 95% of the problem is that those chambers are filled up with oil and these boots been sitting in that oil too long and it's swelled up. So if you wanna solve the problem, but the only way you can do it is to keep on removing that plenum and pulling your coil pack off and checking them chambers. I don't know how long, how often to tell you to do it. I'd say every couple of months anyhow. It's not a real, real big job taking the plenum off. It kind of is a pain in the arse though. Too bad they didn't design it a little bit different, but they didn't. And that's the way they designed it, especially on the uh, 3 liter. Well, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you have not, and thank you very much for those that have.